That's Oliver. He's British. He likes cleaning his cooker all day long, smelling tea in the evening, having a romantic walk near the river, and driving on the left hand side. Always. He doesn't like the washing machine, which is always broken. Breaking his crackers at breakfast. The washing machine that shrinks his clothes always. Hi Oliver. How are you today? Fine, fine. You? Oh fine, thank you. Good. So, what are you doing in Nantes? Um, well, I'm studying in France. I'm uh, at the Ecole Centrale de Nantes, which is one of the most uh, prestigious schools of engineering in France. Oh, is it? Tell me about this school. Um, well, Centrale is an engineering school, so it's not a university. Um, it comes after, usually for French students, after two years of preparation school in maths and physics, scientific subjects, because it's a very scientific school. You study um, well, mechanics, fluid mechanics, energetics, maths. Um, you do a lot of practical work as well in different laboratories. You also study, which is quite a good option, um, communication skills through languages, culture and basic communication. Um, and you also have quite a good view of European um, cultures because there are a lot of foreign students that come to the school and who actually follow the classes with you to complete their studies and get both diplomas, the diploma of their school and the diploma of the École Centrale de Nantes. So it's quite a good system. Uh, by the way, uh, how was your arrival in Nantes? Oh, uh, let me tell you how it all started. First, Oliver came by plane to arrive at Nantes, famous Gallo-Roman city located in the south of Brittany. Then he arrived at the student residence with his 60 pounds of luggage. And apart from going to class, uh, what else is there to, to do in the school? Apart from classes, um, well, there are actually a lot of things to do in Santal apart from classes because they really insist on the fact that you have to have a social life outside of school. So there are sports associations, uh, cultural associations, which means that you can study theatre, you can study cinema, you can study acting. Uh, as far as sports are concerned, they have a very wide range of sports. Uh, I have friends who do capoeira, I, I personally do rowing, we train. I don't know, twice a week. It's on a river, a very nice river that's sort of directly in front of Saint Alenance. And it's actually a very, very beautiful landscape. Uh, we've got a good team and we're actually selected for the France Championships, so it's not bad. The thing is, they put the accent on what you want to do. If you want to do a sport that isn't actually in the school, um, then they try and make sure that you can do it and they try and put things together so that you can actually invest yourself in it as part of the school's activities. So they're actually very involved in everything to do with um, social life outside of classes. Oh, uh, there are a lot of activities, but who organizes all of this? Well, basically three organisations. There's one that takes care of the sports, one that takes care of the arts, and one that takes care of everything. They're all student organisations. So each year they are elected by the students to take the job. Uh, the main one is called the BDE for Bureau des Élèves, which is basically a student's bureau. Uh, I'm part of it. We're about 30 this year. And we organise everything to do with um, any event on the, on the campus. May it be it uh, an evening, uh, be it a conference, anything to do with the student life we take care of. And my particular job is to organise the journeys abroad to Europe because each year we do several and so it helps to be English. Oh, you seem very busy, but do you sleep from time to time? <laughs> yeah, I sleep from time to time. Um, basically, there's a residence where all of the students from Centrale can stay. Foreign students are put into uh, what they call colocation, which is 
uh, sharing a room with a French student or several French students, which is rather good because it means you learn a lot about their culture and you practice the language a lot more than if you were with other foreign students. Um, the other good thing about all of the students being together in one place is that you do a lot of evenings, a lot of events, and you get to know the students in your year much better than if you were in several places. And uh, what do you think of Nantes? Yes, I quite like Nantes. It's, it's a very good city, very nice city. There are a lot of things to do. It's very cultural, many students, and basically a lot of places to go if you just want to have fun and hang out. Do you want to, I'll show you around. Do you want to go? Nantes is a very pleasant city to live in. From an architectural point of view, it's amazing. There are, for example, the Théâtre Groalin, the Place Royale, the Passage Pomeray. There are also large parks to rest, to enjoy the nature and the sweet weather. It is a very dynamic city. There are about 50,000 students here. You can imagine that the nightlife here is spicy. And if you want to escape from the city life for a while, the Atlantic Ocean is not far, less than an hour by car. You can even join the sailing club of the school. They go to the sea each Thursday. <laughs>